Hello everybody. As promised, my quick update on Italy and Spain. Yeah, we had Milan playing and you were playing uh, tonight, not today. Uh, and yeah, I'm wearing Milan, so you can imagine Milan has won. Uh, was not a pretty win, but those are the wins that I actually cherish in a way the most. Um, the first half, I think, you know, I should have taken the lead. I was also interested the game was taken at 3 o'clock on a Monday, which is a horrible date, but you know, Milan and Genoa supporters don't like each other, there was some rumors about trouble, so Serie A said let's play this one at 3 o'clock and everyone loses, honestly, I think the stadium was half full, um, yeah, uh, what can I say? Um, to, um, again, for Milan, important players were suspended, like um, Cassie, but also for Genoa, Piontek was uh, suspended, but that might have worked well uh, for many because Piontek is about to move to Milan. Let's see if this move gets done. Um, the rumor is a Tuesday should be done, and then all the Iguain and Morata transfers can also move on. Back to the game. I think Milan had a really hard time getting used to uh, Genoa. Zapata even had to come off, which is also not that um, great news for them. Uh, so uh, with Ramagnoli out, so um, it seemed to be going the wrong way. Uh, the first time that I thought that Milan can do anything was um, kind of late in the first half and suddenly Paqueta um, made a really nice shot that uh, I think hit the post. It looked first that the goalkeeper was there now, but it but hit the post. Second half, a completely different picture. Suddenly Milan seemingly had figured out Genoa, had more control of the game, not convincing it, but at least to a point where I thought, yeah, um, they might get something, and they got something. Uh, Borini gets um, the goal, I think it was around the 70th minute, uh, let's check that one, 72nd minute, uh, Borini gets the goal, uh, right afterwards uh, was a thundering uh, shot on the bar for Genoa, which kind of said, okay, this is a lucky day for Milan, and Suzo uh, on a counter made it then 2-0, uh, and that was the game, um, quite happy about that. Uh, on, on, honestly, because the next two games, are, as, as we will see, will be very important for Milan, and I don't expect many points. We have Napoli at home, we have Roma away. <sighs> that could put you already a little bit in trouble. Uh, in the evening, you were won, uh, like everyone expected, against Kievo 3 0. Uh, the goals were scored by Douglas Costa in the 11th, John, and uh, in the 45th, and Rugani made it 3 0. Um, so, yeah, that was as expected. So therefore, Italy, we have the situation as follows. You were, of course, ahead with 56 points. Napoli, 47. Uh, those two are pretty much going to go in the Champions League. Inter also looks pretty safe at 40. And then the big race for number four starts. Um, this goes at least until the eighth spot. So we have Milan at 34 at the moment. Roma, one point behind at 33. If you ask me, Roma at the moment is, seems to be the team that will make uh, get that spot. Lazio 30-32, they were just, they lost to Napoli and now uh, were overtaken by both Milan and Roma. Atalanta 31 and Sampdoria 30. Those are the teams that will at least fight for Europe, potentially even for the fourth spot. I think uh, it is that wide. But Parma, Fiorentina, Parma 28, Fiorentina, Torino at 27, and Sassuolo also not out of the picture at 20, 20, 26. They're just a little bit off, but they make this midfield. They could challenge for Europe for sure. The dead zone kind of is Cagliari, Genoa, um, 21 and 20, um, where I think they might have some slight relegation worry, but overall they look safe. And then the relegation zone also, I mean, Udine and Spal have 18, Empoli 17. That's quite some points ahead of Bologna at 14, Frosinone at 10, and Kiewo at 8. I think the Frosinone and Kiewo are pretty much down, and I unfortunately I don't see much for Bologna either. So I think that one is also going well. Uh, pretty, looks pretty much, I don't want to say decided, but that's the way it's going. Um, yeah, remains to be seen. Uh, 
uh, the games will be played. Uh, and let's also have a quick look at Spain, uh, where we had uh, Getafe 4 0 against Alaves. That was actually a big result because Alaves could have gotten in third spot. Uh, Real Madrid we, we saw against Sevilla, Uesca losing to uh, Atletico 0 3, Celta Valencia 1 2, uh, Valencia getting something going finally, Betis Girona 3 2. Uh, Villarreal, Atletico de Pau, I uh, saw that one, 1-1, one, one. Levante, 2-0 against Valladolid, Rayo, 2-2 uh, against the Real Sociedad, Barcelona, haven't seen the highlights, but Messi, in another record, 3-1 uh, against Leganes, and Eibar beats Espanyol, 3-0, Espanyol keeps dropping. Um, this is, to me, almost a big story. Um, Espanyol has quite some woes. And Spain, yeah, we have again uh, Barcelona 46 and Atletico 41. Those two will be for sure in the Champions League. It looks also Real Madrid now in third place, 36. Sevilla having some trouble, uh, unfortunately, 33, although they have been active on the transfer market, but I'm not sure how, where this will go. Uh, Alaves 32, Getafe 31. Those are the Europa League spots where probably Betis uh, at 29 has also a shot. Then we have a really broad midfield slash relegation zone it is quite tight we have uh, valencia 26 levante 26 a bar 25 they have been moving up next we've been doing moving down girona and espanola 24 each bilbao seemingly gets some traction uh moved up 23 uh leganes and Real valladolid uh at 22 points have lost uh of spots celta is right above the relegation zone at 21 raya 20 via real 18 those are 18 and 19 in the relegation zone and Uesca is the only team that I would say is for sure relegated but this there is a lot to play for in Spain um, just for completeness I didn't say now all the uh, results in Italy we have uh, other than the uh, let's go through them Roma Torino we saw the 3-2 uh, Udine Parma 1-2 uh, Inter Sassuolo only 0-0 uh, Atalanta destroys Frosinone 5-0 take that Milan Spal uh, against Bologna 1-1, so at least a little bit of hope for Bologna there. Uh, Fiorentina Sampdoria 3-3. Cagliari Empoli ended in a 2-2. Napoli beat, of course, Lazio 2-1. Should have been more, although La Lazio also had some chances. It was a really good game. And yeah, uh, Milan 2-0 and Juve 3-0. So that's my update on Serie A. I keep my fingers crossed that Milan can get something going. I'm a little bit doubtful that they make a Champions League at this point. Um, I think the four from last season are for me favored for this season as well. But hey, there's plenty to play and maybe some team will find the magic potion or maybe some of the big boys will even drop. Who knows? Anyway, give me a thumbs up if you liked that video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.